An upward step yeah. in that faster lap time. Petrucci. Is that what's so uh, fastest lap of that opening qualifying session goes to Danilo Petrucci at 147.605. Two Ducatis, Binder fourth out of Icalekawona, Joan Zarco six. He was one place out of Teco Bagnaia from the start of 70. It's qualifying two in Motorland. So he's got to stretch his body to the maximum, especially after that huge crash earlier on. He has indeed a big crush at turn 14 for Fabio Quattro. He's arguably in a better position than this man right now. Our thoughts with uh, Valentino Rossi. Hope you're getting better, but we know in race trim, he's got the speed. We know at the end of races, they can keep their tyres better than anyone else. Absolutely brilliant performance in Le Mans, 18th to second place. Awesome. First time he's been in Q2 this season. He's not qualified higher than so. He's just had a superb FP4 session. Nothing again wrong with his race pace. Second he was to Fresno. Fighting it out then here in this session. Honda's looking strong as well. We just mentioned Alex Marquez but leads the BMW M Awards for best qualifying of 2020 so far. Just ahead of Maverick Vinales. For Maverick Vinales plus one for Franco Morbidelli and you would not rule it out as Matt rightly said earlier on. Having waited all that time in France. I was thinking back to Catalonia when uh, Franco Morbidelli was on pole position. There's every chance he could get temperature in that carbon disc. Here's your mixed entire location, what it's all going to be about. Soft tyres. Alex Rins never had a pole position in MotoGP. There is the number 42. Juan Mir obviously never had a pole. Uh, he was in contention, probably and arguably, should have been the race winner, were it not for the red flag. That KO, so. Well, he's lost his temper, that's for sure, after a very. Interesting conclusion. Garage uh, left a glove as a present for his uh, somewhat bewildered crew. And that was the last we saw of Andrea De Vizioso this afternoon. What happened at the end of that Q1 session, Simon? Yes, I hope you can uh, hear us now with the bikes coming past. But David, a great to see two Ducatis go through. Good one to start things off, isn't it? A 47 657 then from Jack Miller. Benialis first lap is a 40. Picked himself up brilliantly after the disappointment of uh, rare DNF in uh, Le Mans last weekend when he's shown great and really strong. Cal Crutchlo putting together another excellent lap as well. You can't keep the Brit down, can you? Here comes Morbidelli then. Is this about the width of a front tyre? Amazing, isn't it? Good laps coming in then from Alicia Spargaro, Cal Crutchlo and Quattararo is up. Uh, for the time being, Alicia Spargaro on the Brilliant is on the front row. But that changes straight away. A 47-7 from Crutchlo. He plays this will be unbelievable. Better. Quattararo, now look at this. He's half a second up through the first three seconds. He's had nine Premier not even that. Quattararo then comes to the line. Keep an eye on Jack Miller. Oh, it's close. close. Miller lost it. Miller lost it in that four sector, two sectors. He's deep into sector three right now. And he's close. He's down by just under half a tenth. Yeah, he's got to try and do it on it. 16 we go. Around turn 17. Now, last time he was a bit out of shape on the exit here. This looks a little bit better for him. What a day it's been so far for Petronas Yamaha SRT. Have they got any fingernails left inside that Malaysia? Maverick Vinales, you can't rule him out. Potentially another Yamaha lockout of the front row of the grid. Good lap being put. Vinales, he overshot on the brakes into turn eight. So, in the first run, then it would be Mir seventh. Polish Bargaro eighth and Rins ninth with Alex Marquez Nakagami nudging himself yeah, now, I think onto that second row. When you've seen his pace all weekend so far, particularly in that top six, what a lap though by this man, Fabio Quattararo. It was only a few hours ago, he was an absolute agony in Pizzano, second in Austria. Fabio Quattararo then heads back out of the action. We always felt like after that, he's passed it with flying colours. On pole with a 147.296. Franco Morbidelli, addition in three Grand Prix. And what about Alex Marquez? Well, whatever happens, this is going to be a personal best mode, the GP qualifying for Marquez and right tyre. A number of them heading out again then with the medium front, including Cal Crutchlow, Alicia Spargro, Alex Marquez. Came out of turn two on the gas. And that's going to cost him crucial rhythm to build up speed on that Sichuan Mir there. How hard he was pushing to get attempt to the tyres. That's Suzuki squirming underneath Mir going into the first corner. Juan Mir shortly. Three and a half minutes left to qualifying here. Who will be on pole in Aragon? Engaged in a real strong battle last year. It went the way of Miller late on. Vignal was able to respond against the Ducati speed on the back stroke. It's a good first sector for Polish Spargaro as well on the Red Bull KTM. He's only 900th down. Fargaro 
He's got his brother just up ahead of him on that fragment. It's advantage of on the Aprilia. Six, a couple of spots ahead of Paul. Here comes Maverick Vinales then, who 9-6. Here comes the top gun though. Is he going top spot in this session? He is, 147, 1-2-5. Cycle. Sure, what has gone on here? Cal Crutchlow has got his arm up. Is there something wrong on circuit? Here you're looking at uh, Jack Miller. This lap won't go at the moment. Another excellent lap being fired in here then from Maverick Vinales at the 5.3 kilometre track. He's going to attack hard now on the brakes downhill into turn 12. Lose a bit of time in that. So he'll get one more lap. Last flying lap also coming for Quattararo. Morbidelli's having another charge at this as well. Now Morbidelli is now entering the fourth sector because he is the man who will be coming across the line shortly. And is he going to challenge for pole position? Franco Morbidelli coming over the line now. Does he go? 47, 1, 2, 5, 9 thousands up he was through the third sector. And he's found more time. Just a smidgen. One foot. Also up in sector one is his teammate, Franco Morbidelli. Sensational speed, commitment and bravery here. This morning at turn 14 and he's still up. About halfway through the third sector now. Down the hill into turn four. Down this back straight. He's absolutely smashed the third sector as well. Quattararo on course for a remarkable pole. There's Quattararo over the line. Does he get pole? He yes, does. he does. And that looks like it's it. That looks like it's taking it away from Frank Heinel corner. Can Morbidelli at least get himself on that front row? Cal Crutchlow on the front row. What a job by the LZ Honeman. No, Morbison, Nakagami, Mia and Marcus. But they won't be good enough for that all-important top three. And Mir looks like at the moment he hangs on to six, but it's all yeah. eyes on Nakagami here. Can Nakagami upset Juan Mir? Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas last year. Brilliant performance by him, but what can you say about Fabio Quattararo? He dusts himself down and he takes down another pole position in MotoGP. Double figures now. Front row with Cal Crutchlow. A couple of real heroic rides there. Quattararo and Crutchlow. We could go down to pit lane. Petronas Yamaha rest. Joe Pole is always impressive, but to do it when he had to hobble to the bike after that crash this morning. Yes, of course. Then, uh, yeah, first and fourth, uh, you know, it's, it's a great uh, position to start off tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, those final couple of corners, it was a bit of aero that was dangling down the side of Paul Espargaro after a tangle hitting the factory. What a performance, full of skill, full of courage by Fabio Quattararo and a Bruno back to his peak physical best as well as he the Brit and he's on the front row for the LCR Honda. Fabio Quattararo then, a brilliant Heroic pole position here in Motorland, Aragon. Takes it by just in the half. And Mia, Takanakagami, Petru.